the character that I will be pulling for and I will be getting at Honkai Star Rail and I'm going to do it easily and I will win the 50-50 for the seventh time in a row. This will age fantastically and I'll also get her in less than 30 pulls. So let's continue here real quick. Let's continue here for seeing who I'm bringing home to Mommy Kafka. Bro, Black Swan, Kafka, and Ruan May on one team together are going to be Insane. Sparkle greater than Black Swan. Even if that's true, why not just get both? Are you are you insane? Memories are ever changing. Trailblazers today, we have the character view for Black Swan to Hilly win. God damn, bro. She's so fine. And Hoyoverse knows what they're doing. You know, people want to say, ah, oh, they're not making Coomer bait. They're not making waifus that pander people. Yes, they are. What fortune teller lays on their back with their tits flopping around, thigh high latex with their tummy and armpits showing, holding up a little fruit on their back, oh, about to put that shit in their mouth. Like, you know what they would do? And she's also in a bed. You know what they would do if she was a fortune teller that they weren't trying to pander for? In front of a crystal ball. They know what they're doing with this shit, bro. They they know. They know what they're doing. She's just stretching. Oh, yeah, I know, man. Yeah, I know, 100%. Light cone as well. Okay, well, we'll have to peep that shit too. Maybe I might get both. We will see. Got a lot of tabs. We might get both. We will see. Character overview. Black Swan is a DPS character capable of inflicting the enemy with Arcana through various means. I mean various means. Arcana is a unique form of DPS. Am I, am I, is my brain just up? Am I the only person thinking this shit? Is everybody just like, oh, what a cute little photo? Like, I don't know, bro. I mean, this shit to me is insane. Also, her hair is wild. Her hair is psych psychopathic levels of long. Black Swan can trigger various additional effects based on the number of Arcana stacks on enemy target. Traces, Viserra Disquiet. She's good, right? Like she's gonna be good, she's gonna be OP? She's gotta be. New Relic set? Yeah, let me peep this shit too. She, she's, she's surely gonna be OP, right? There's no way that they make her bad. Yes, super good. OP, but Doom posters? Okay. I mean, that's with every character, right? Like, I'm assuming you put Black Swan and Kafka in a team. There's no way that she's bad, right? There's just, like, no way. OP, but a lot of Doom posters? Okay. Well, I'll make her good. It doesn't matter if other people's Black Swan's bad. Mine's gonna be the good one. After using the skill to hit an enemy that is Wind Shear, Bleed, Burn, or Shock, each of those debuffs, respectfully, has a chance of inflicting one extra stack of Arcana. That seems insane. There's a chance to inflict one stack of Arcana when a target enters battle. Every time an enemy target receives DOT during a single attack by an ally, there's a chance for the target to be inflicted with one stack of arcana there's a limit to the number of arcana stacks that can be inflicted on the enemy in a single attack what is the limit okay increase damage dealt by this unit increase damage dealt by this unit by an amount equal to a certain percentage of effect rate hit rate up to a limit okay all right but how did how well does that scale having effect hit rate be very important is very good because that means more relics will do better things needs 120 percent effect hit rate max is that the limit? Okay, so let's say I have 120% effect hit rate. How much does that increase my damage by? You know, 60% of the EHR up to 120. 72% more damage. What the f Okay, so she does a million billion more damage and she can never miss a DOT. That seems insane. Okay, leveling materials, extinguished core, fiery spirit, past evils of the borehole planet disaster, extinguished core, art, ascendant debris. Technique from facade to verita. Oh my god, she's so fine. Oh my god, bro. That shit looks so cool. And the best thing is it doesn't look like it's gonna be an attack, which means you can stack these. Because the ones where you have to attack aren't as good, right? Like Kafka's is fine. It hits everything around you, has uses in simulated universe, but like when your technique is like you hit one unit, it, it sucks, then you can't stack them. You can't use multiple ones in the, in the team, which sucks. At the beginning of the next battle, there's a chance to inflict a stack of Arcana on each enemy. If Arcana is successfully inflicted on an enemy, this effect will be repeated on the affected enemies until it fails fails to inflict Arcana on any of them. The re-trigger chance on inflicting Arcana will be lowered with each successful Arcana inflicted on the target. Okay, interesting. Basic attack deals wind damage to a single target enemy with a chance of inflicting one stack of Arcana, and if the hit target currently has wind shear, bleed, burn, or shock applied to them. Each respectfully has a chance of additionally inflicting one extra stack of arcana onto them. That seems really good. That that to me says that if her basic attack can do that, then she might have a good chance of being skill point positive. Unless you have to spam the skill, which we'll see. Talent. Each enemy target has a certain chance at the start of each turn to be afflicted by a stack of arcana for every instant of dot sustained. Very good. When affected by arcana, enemy targets will receive wind dot at the start of each turn. Each stack of arcana inc increases the damage multiplier, which is then reset to one stack. There is a limit for arcana stocks. This seems awesome. At the beginning of the enemy's turn, when arcana causes damage, Black Swan will trigger additional effects that can be stacked based on a number of arcana stacks inflicted on the target. So the question is, what happens if you have a bunch of arcana stacks and then Kafka pops her all? Like, will the arcana double damage? Dip or no? That's my question. 
She explodes it. Okay, so does it pop once or does it pop twice? Uh, feels like she's going to need to be played with Fu Shuan. Start with special, then do single until needed. That could be possible. Pop twice, plus one, then pop, you think? We'll have to figure it out, I guess. Uh, let's read this. Okay, when afflicted by Arcana, enemy targets receive wind out at the start of each turn. Each second of Arcana increases damage multiplier, which is damage to one stack. There is a limit for Arcana stacks. At the beginning of an enemy's turn, when Arcana causes damage, Black Swan will trigger additional effects that can be stacked based on the number of Arcana stacks inflicted on a target. Over three stacks, inflicts wind dot ad to adjacent enemies. Oh, that's so cool. With it has a chance of inflicting one stack of Arcana to adjacent targets. That's insane. Over seven stacks, the dot inflicted this time ignores a certain percentage of the defense of both target and adjacent targets. Okay, that also seems insane. So let's think here. We would probably assume that Kafka, Black Swan, Ruan Mei, and Luocha or Fu Xuan is probably really good, right? I mean, obviously, we'd prefer someone like Hua Hua, but we don't have her. And also, that character is annoying, so I don't care. You know, Hua Hua is best as lot. Yeah, I don't need her, though. Yeah, but I don't need her. There will be there will be a healer character that power creeps Hua Hua 1 million percent. Okay, so the, ignore defense. Insane. All right, how's the skill work? Also, the fact that she floats is so cool. <laughs> Bro, the T-Rex chef is so clean. I love it. Okay, deals damage to a single target enemy and, and any adjacent targets. At the same time, she's going to be really good at Memory of Chaos. At the same time, there's a chance of including inflicting one second of Arcana on the target enemy and adjacent targets. And there's a chance of reducing the defense of the target enemy and the adjacent targets, lasting for a certain number of turns. So she defense breaks and then she defense breaks. How is that not going to be insane? Like she double defense breaks. And then imagine the team of Black Swan, Kafka, and Acheron. If Acheron is another, another bust in the hill unit, we'll see. This seems ludicrous. The multipliers? Well, the thing is, though, is that, like, let's say she makes people ignore the defense by 24% minimum, which I'm probably sure she can probably do more. Imagine how much extra damage you're going to be doing. Acheron and Black Swan doesn't mix together? Really? How do you know? How do you know? Okay, ultimate. This shit looks insane, by the way. I'm glad to know that it is AoE. I thought it was single target, and I assumed it was going to be ass. Applies Epiphany on all enemies for a certain number of turns. Enemies affected by Epiphany, epiphany take more damage in their turn. And their Arcana effect is regarded as Wind Shear, Bleed, Burn, and Shock effects. In addition, when their Arcana effect is triggered at the beginning of the next turn, their Arcana stacks are not reset. The stack non-reset effect can be triggered up to one time in an Epiphany's duration. And its charges are replenished when Epiphany is... I broke my phone. When Epiphany is applied again, deals wind damage to all targets. This seems really, really, really good. And I believe she comes out in four days now. She comes out in four days. Hey, boys, I'm going to be real. I'm going to be real. I think she's going to be taking Kafka to S tier. I really do. I feel like Kafka Black Swan is going to be ludicrous. And now we just wait. Now we just wait. Let's see. Let's see how the light cone looks. Light cone preview. Bro, the, the way that her titties flop on her arm is just so... Hot. Okay, what's it do? Increase the wearer's effect rate by 40%. That's insane. When the wearer deals damage to an enemy inflicted with wind shear, burn, shock, or bleed, they will individually gain one stack of profit. This seems like a really fun light count. This effect can stack up to four times in a single battle. Each type of dot can only generate one stack of profit. Every stack of profit increases the wearer's attack by 5%, and the dot they deal will ignore 7.2% of the target's defense. That seems... Pretty good. I mean, that's kind of wild. That's uh, kind of wild. New developer notes. Oh my God. We got a lot of shit to read. Okay. New stages for version 2.0. Okay. We have the two new relic sets. The two new relic sets do. Two piece set. Increased damage dealt to enemies with debuff by 12%. Four piece set. Increases crit rate by 4%. The wearer deals eight. To 12% increased crit damage to enemy with at least 2-3 debuffs. After the wearer inflicts a debuff on enemy targets, the aforementioned effect increases to 100%, lasting for one turn. It makes the wearer deal 100% more crit damage? So this isn't a set for dot dealers. This is for pretty much just Dr. Ratio, right? Or maybe even uh, Acheron? New set for Ratio? Yeah, that's what it means. Okay. Fixed screen? Yeah. So that, that, mean, that to me means Dr. Ratio. Ratio and Acheron? I put it on Silver Wolf. So, what the f is Acheron even going to do? Like, what would Acheron even do? Okay. Two piece, increased break effect by 16%. When the wearer uses their ultimate on an ally, break effect for all allies increases by 30% for two turns. This effect cannot be stacked. So, this is for Ruan Mei. Why would I want to give my allies break effect? That also seems kind of underwhelming. 
Like, wouldn't I still just want to run the speed set? Like, is this one is this one actually that good? And Zhui Yi, she's debuff DPS. Zhui Yi as well, debuff buff and DPS. Okay, I mean, maybe this is good. Uh, it doesn't really seem that crazy to me. Yeah, it really, really, really doesn't seem that crazy to me. So then, what set? What set is Black Swan gonna want? Black Swan's surely gonna want the DOT set, right? That's what makes sense to me. The other one is better. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Luka wants a shit ton of BE. Really, does he? Oh, I mean, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, the dot set. Okay, I have really, really, really good dot set for Black Swan whenever she's ready. And then uh, what two pieces she wants? She wants the speed increased damage one, right? EHR set, Pan Galactic. Yeah, dot set. Okay, let's see if there's anything, any other news. Yeah, Pentacone, he's coming. New version when you savage five-star relics. You now choose between summons and the relic remains or EXP materials. I think that's very, very, very good. I feel like a lot of people have extra uh, relic materials. Yeah, we have the new loadout section, which looks very good. You can filter them way easier. The timeline thing that we saw earlier. Uh, the new maps, which will be very, very, very nice. Thank God. Uh, that's, uh, that makes me very happy. Uh, you get more support characters. Very good. The Dreamscape Pass will be unlocked when, when Trailblazer reaches Pentacone. And you get more rewards from beating that shit. Oh, yeah, dude. Okay, well, things are looking good in the world of Honkai Star Rail. Feels very good. Good shit. Looking forward to Pentecody. Only a couple of days, boys. Only a couple more days. Hopefully, people shut their mouth by then. We'll be good.